Hey everyone, I want to welcome you to a special video uh, presentation. It may not be the best that you probably see out there, but I'm going to look back at this past decade, which is, well, to many has gone by, has come and gone very fast. I mean, it is the, I mean, we are ending the first decade of the new millennium and going into a new decade. Excuse me. So, I'm going to take this time to kind of give you my own personal thoughts on basically what this decade's meant to me, you know, looking back on it and, and how it's affected me and what I've, you know, discovered and gone through, as well as also look at some other events that have taken place as well. So, without further ado, let's take a look at year by year. Starting with year 2000. Um, when I began, uh, when 2000 came around in, you know, 2000, when, when we began the new 21st century, I was still living with my father. Um, I know it's kind of hard to believe, but I was. And I was basically a year and a half, you know, I was basically, it had been about a year and a half uh, since I had graduated high school. And I was the uh, first uh, child out of my family to do four straight years of high school. Um, even though my sisters got their, you know, diplomas and GEDs later on, I was the first one, I was the only child to go four straight years. Um, so, like I said, about a year and a half, it had been a year and a half after I had graduated, and I was still living with my father, and then one day I got a phone call from, um, from the people that, wor that worked with me at Independence Inc. in Lawrence, Kansas, and they told me if I'd like to come down and kind of talk about my experience with them and how the, my experience with them helped me out in the long run uh, because I basically took it a keyboarding class well not a keyboarding computer it was a key, it was actually a computer class that I had taken with them so I said sure so I went to uh, to this um, meeting this presentation this uh, I guess you could say they had in Ozark in um sort of close to where I lived, uh, where they had it was in Ozaki, Kansas. And we met there, and I talked about my experience with them, and that's where I first heard about uh, Prairie Ridge Apartments and the fact that they had had a few openings. And it's like, you know, and not to be too religious, even though I'm a Christian, uh, it's like God kind of opened up my eyes and said, hey, look, here's your opportunity to live out on your own because uh, where I lived, there wasn't much um, to do, you know, really, and unless you had a car. And where these apartments were located in Lawrence, Kansas, it was like in between everything. So I jumped at the opportunity, and within a few weeks after being at that meeting and talking about how Independence Inc. helped me, they once again helped me again. And on May 2nd, I believe, 2000, I moved into my apartments, moved into Prairie Ridge Apartments, where I lived for seven years. So, that's one of the things that helped me out. And during my time there at Prairie Ridge, I was actually able to do things I had not been able to do in a long time. Uh, for example, I was actually able to have decent cable. I mean, not saying my, not saying where I lived didn't have decent cable, but I was actually able to have all cable. I mean, I had all the channels, and this was at a t this was at a time when I could afford it, and when cable was a little cheaper, and wasn't digital, so I could afford all of that. So.
I was able to, um, you know, have all the pre all the channels, premium, you name it. I was even able to able to order pay per views. I mean, it was just unbelievable, and it was just I just had the time of my life, and I had I actually, I was actually the one that, and I actually was able to host Thanksgiving there with my father and my grandmother. You know, I just had the time of my life. My friends were there. I went out with them during Christmas that year. I mean, it was just tremendous. And you know, and, and that was one of the reasons I wanted. To, I took the opportunity to move out because I was going to be in the same vicinity as my friends in in high school. You know, all of them were living in in Lawrence at the time, and you know, getting to be around them again, seeing and seeing them was you know the be one of the best was probably one of the best things that ever happened to me when I moved there but yeah you know the first year there was was pretty good I mean there, there were a few incidences I mean you know um, we I think it was about a few months since I moved there and I had a guy because I was living on the second floor when I first moved there, and we had a guy come down, and I had a guy come down to my apartment, and I guess I was too loud or something, because I'd woken up early, um, you know, at an early time, and this guy came down, knocked on the door, I was wondering, what the heck is going on, you know, because, I, like I said, I guess I was too loud or something like that, and he came in and he threatened me, basically, he just, I don't know who he was, but he just threatened me to the point that he said he was going to throw my TV across the room, you know, do this and that. And it actually scared me to the point that I had to call my father, and I was almost contemplating moving out of there and going moving back in with him because we had people like that around. And and also we had, uh, I also had a neighbor a few, you know, rooms down, a few apartments down that it didn't matter who you were, any time he walked by you, he would call you a son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm not lying. But uh, besides all that, um, they actually did greet me very warmly when I first got there. And I got to know some of the people. And it was just a, a great atmosphere in the first year. And that's really all I have to say about it. It was just, it was just a tremendous year. And it's one I'll never forget. It, and it was probably one of the best ways to kick off that new millennium on this new millennium, in this first decade of it, for me.